This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Whether you're selling a little or a lot, Shopify helps you do your thing, however you cha-ching. From the launch your online shop stage, all the way to the we just hit a million orders stage. No matter what stage you're in, Shopify's there to help you grow. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash special offer, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash special offer. It's time for Friday Follies right here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. The Comedy Forecast Network. Let's dog ear this for now. This is Comedy Forecast, episode 710, Dog Days of Podcasting Edition, a tape of two cities. Every August, the Dog Days of Podcasting event challenges podcasters to create a new show every single day of the month. Or at least as many days as they can. Comedy Forecast has been a participant virtually every year since the challenge began. During last year's event we looked at one odd news story each day. And we're doing it again this year. Be sure to subscribe, so you never miss an episode. And, to hear all the content being created by everyone participating in this year's event, go to dogdaysofpodcasting.com. Thank you. Oh hi there, Clinton here, and here is today's odd news story. When North Texas resident Karen McBride recently got married, she thought that would be the most exciting thing that would happen to her all year. She was wrong. After the wedding, McBride went to the Dallas DMV to update the name on her driver's license. Well, I mean, not right after the wedding. I mean, that would be silly. The office would be closed on the weekend. But let's dog ear that for now and get back to the Department of Motor Vehicles. McBride said that the associate at the DMV told her that Texas couldn't issue her a license until she got that issue in Oklahoma cleared up. That doesn't sound good, but it also didn't sound familiar at all to the newlywed. In fact, she had only lived in Oklahoma for a few months back in the 90s. Oh yeah, I can dig it. Lots of crazy things happened in the 90s. I mean, jelly sandals... Pogs, moving out to the heartland for a hot minute. Anyway, McBride soon discovered that she was the subject of a felony embezzlement warrant. Whoa! Was McBride a grifter? What was her heinous crime against humanity? The town of Norman, Oklahoma had issued the warrant because, in 1999, McBride had failed to return a VHS copy of the film Sabrina the Teenage Witch to the video rental store. No wonder they... Wait, what? She was going to be thrown in jail for not returning a tape of a 1996 made-for-TV movie that only scored a 5.2 with audiences on Rotten Tomatoes? Although I have to admit it did spawn a series that lasted seven seasons, so I... No, 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 no. What's the deal here? Back in the late 90s, when prosecutors were running around in sweater vests, acid wash jeans, and Doc Martens, Oklahoma law stated that if an item was valued at more than $50, its embezzlement was a felony. The VHS copy of Sabrina the Teenage Witch... That was valued at just under $60. It was a crazy time, people. Since then, the law has been updated, saying that the value needs to exceed $1,000. Thankfully, the charges against McBride have been dropped. So all is well, right? It was until George Gore was pulled over for speeding near Oklahoma City. He was arrested and brought to the city's detention center. His crime? In 1997, he rented the video game NBA Hang Time and allegedly never returned it. Most boring crime wave ever. Thankfully, the charges against him were dropped as well uh, for not returning the video game. As far as renting NBA Hang Time in the first place, yeah, that's all on him. But for now, that's it. We're done, 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 done. Bye-bye. Episode contents, including story and music, by Clinton Olivord. Copyright 2021. All rights reserved.